So what is this Max Thunder exercise, which North Korea has cited as the reason for calling off its high-level meeting with South Korea? Our Lee seung -jae explains. Last year's Max Thunder exercise began on April 21, 2017. Back then, North Korea waited five days before responding with this largest ever live fire exercise. This year's Max Thunder drill, which began last Friday and is scheduled to run for two weeks, led to North Korea cancel a high level inter Korean meeting set for Wednesday and even threaten to pull the plug on the Pyongyang Washington summit scheduled for June 12 in Singapore. The joint exercise takes place annually and is the largest military flying exercise held on the Korean Peninsula. It's part of a continuous exercise program designed to enhance its interoperability between South Korean and U.S. forces and is not tied to any specific real-world events or situations. It has also been regarded as an exercise that highlights the long-standing military partnership, commitment, and enduring friendship between the two allies to help ensure peace and security in Northeast Asia. So how is the Max Thunder exercise being held this year? The joint exercise involves some 100 warplanes, including eight F-22 radar evading fighters and an unspecified number of B-52 bombers and F-15K jets. But the highlight of this year's exercise are the eight F-22 fighter jets that are making their debut. Equipped with the state-of-the-art stealth technology, the fifth-generation fighter jet is known to be capable of bringing down 100 fourth-generation fighters like the F-15 and the F-16 on its own. The main bay of the F-22 Raptor can accommodate six launchers for beyond visual range missiles, and each side bay has launchers for short range missiles. If that isn't devastating enough, four of the launchers can be replaced with two bomb racks that can each carry 1,000 pound bombs. Could the sheer size of the exercise be the reason for North Korea's sudden about face? While Max Thunder is known to be routine and defensive in nature, both allies are now left hoping this year's exercise won't put a dampener on the path to peace. Lee Seung-jae, Arirang News.